got just a quick video here for you today demonstrating how I charge my 18650 cells, or at least how I'm charging them currently. Um, basically, I've got one of these little USB lithium battery chargers. Uh, they're like a dollar on eBay. Actually, here's the um, listing for the one that I got. It's a 5 volt mini USB 1 amp lithium battery charging uh, slash lipo charger. Um, I don't know why it says for Arduino, but um, yeah, it charges any 3.7 volt uh, lithium polymer slash lithium ion cells. Um, it seems to work fine with the 18650s, although the cutoff voltage is a little low. It's like it's more like 4.12 or something, where normally they'll charge up to 4.2 volts. Um, and then again, these are all repurposed cells, so it just may be the fact that they're old. Um, but I have a different charger, and it seems to charge them up to 4.2. So, once I get back to college, I'm going to be using a Club's IMAX B6 to be testing all of these for capacity. It's going to take a very, very long time, considering I have all of those to do as well. Those haven't been charged yet, or at least not fully. Most of them are above 3 volts. Um, but these here have been fully charged, and I've got one in progress here. Uh, that the, the blue ones here you see are from like 1997, so I don't know how good they are. They're probably not real great, but most of the rest of these are um, fairly recent, like 2008 and earlier. Um, all from recycled laptop battery packs. Um, if you watch my previous video, you, I'll, uh, I have a video of t uh, disassembling a lot of these. And they were from Batteries Plus. I stopped by there and asked them if they had any battery packs that they would willingly give me if I for a project that I was working on since I needed to harvest some cells. And I said, sure, come on back. And I walked out of there with, I think, seven battery packs. So... Um, yeah, if you're ever in need of some lithium cells, that might try doing that. A place that recycles battery packs, just ask them if you can have some. Because um, apparently they don't really get much money or any money from recycling them. Like they said, some of the packs they get a little bit out of, and then other ones they have to pay to have recycled. So it kind of counteracts itself, and they really don't get anything out of it. So they really don't mind giving them away. <laughs> It's more of just kind of a courtesy thing they do for people to recycle them to get more people there, I guess. So, well, anyway, that's just how I've been charging these things. It's really slow. Um, if you, I was doing two cells at once on this makeshift little uh, holder out of hard drive magnets, but that was taking just hours and hours and hours and hours, so I decided to go down to one cell, and it seems to be about twice as fast as you would imagine but I may start charging two cells again I'm just not sure if that little charger can handle it um, shout out to uh, Renoa Super Genius for the idea of using magnets to hold these together for charging it really works well um, if you just need to tack a couple batteries together you can just slap them between a couple hard drive magnets holds them perfectly it's even almost like a little stand you know holds it up off the table and works well so yeah, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. He's been the uh, inspiration for all of these, or for my entire uh, electric bike project so far. He's where I got the ideas from. So, excellent channel. Go watch his videos. Um, so yeah, this is uh, it's going to be an interesting project. So I'll keep you guys posted on my progress, and uh, you guys have a good one. And uh, feel free to watch some of my other videos if you are interested in things like this. Have a good one, guys.